All right, this here is my um, sky quality meter. All finished, and basic, nearly all finished. On off switch, uh, USB. It's powered by Nano on a Vero board, strip board. It's got some electronics inside. I have an LDR here for measuring uh, light intensity, which controls how often, um, what the time period is to actually measure frequency. Uh, this TLS sensor, TLS. Uh, sensor here, flight to frequency, that's going to be mounted on the top here, going to use a um, going to use a, uh, a 20 degree lens um, thing here with a hole through with a UVIR filter and so that's where that's going to go. This is a TFT display, we'll turn it on. Use TFT because of the space involved, if I used a L LCD 1602 it doesn't fit in the case. So, okay, we'll turn it on. Currently giving me a sky reading of about 3.58. Um, in the final version, it just has the sky quality reading in large font. I've got these other values in here which uh, are being used for testing, displays the frequency and other things. And the reason for that is when I went onto the internet and had a look at a lot of examples and some of those examples use things like pulse in and interrupt driven, etc. Uh, when I check those against a uh, frequency generator, I connected up a frequency generator instead of the TLS sensor. I found out that those all that code was basically completely unreliable and gave um, different values for frequency, and they were never constant, never the same. So I dumped all that code in the end. And basically wrote my own, and I've tested it against a frequency generator, and it, um, the code here is actually significantly better than anything I've been able to find so far. So um, that's my little box. It'll have the lens on here, be able to shine it up, gives readings um, of the sky quality, and uh, all the details about how to design it, the board, the layout, the schematic, the code. Uh, everything is on the SourceForge Source, uh, website and a little program also to operate this remotely so you can data log this uh, back to the computer and monitor it from a remote location if you want to. So that's the latest project, a Sky Quality Meter.